Hello everyone! In this video we're going to look at the different ways to disable Copilot on Windows 11. Starting with the latest moment update for Windows 11 version 22H2 and on version 23H2, Microsoft is introducing its AI chatbot to help you with everyday tasks. But if the feature isn't for you, there are different ways you can disable the Windows 11 Copilot on your computer, including through the taskbar settings, group policy, registry, and using third-party tools. So let's get to it. The first method to disable the feature on Windows 11 is to actually remove the icon, this one right here, from the taskbar. And you can do that by going to start and looking for settings. And on the settings app, we're going to go to personalization and then we're going to look for the taskbar settings and in here we're just going to turn off the copile option and that will remove the icon from the taskbar however you can still access the feature by using the windows key plus c keyboard shortcut now if you want to completely disable copilot on windows 11 if you have the pro enterprise or education edition you can use the local group policy to disable the feature now if you have windows 11 home you will have to use the registry which i'm going to tell you after this method to disable copilot using group policy just open start and let's look for the group policy editor and then we're going to open the app. Now we're going to go to user configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, and then we're going to look for Windows Copilot. And here we're going to open this policy and then we're going to enable the policy in order to disable the Windows Copilot on your computer. Then click apply and then click OK. And as you can see at the bottom, the icon will disappear. And the last thing left to do is to restart the computer to apply the changes. Once you're back, even if you try to use the Windows key plus C keyboard shortcut, the experience will now start. You can also use the registry to completely disable Copilot on Windows 11. Uh, this is an option that you can use if you have Windows 10 Home and you don't have access to the group policy editor. However, it is important to note that modifying the registry can cause different issues if you don't do it correctly and it is assumed that you created a backup before making any system changes. To fully disable Copilot from Windows 11 using the registry, open start and look for the registry. And then we're going to go to this path, H key, current user, software, policies, Microsoft, Windows, and Windows Copilot. There is a chance that the Windows Copilot key won't be available on your system. If that's the case, you need to go to the one before, which is the Windows key. And here, we're just going to create that Windows Copilot key. Make sure there are no spaces. And in here, we're just going to right click, select new, and we're going to create a DWORD 32-bit value. And we're going to name it, turn off Windows Copilot and press enter. And then we're going to double click it and we're going to change the value from zero to one and click OK. And now the last step is to restart the computer to apply the changes. You can also use third party tools to disable the Copilot feature on Windows 11. For example, using the Vite tool that you can download from this GitHub page. And in here, you need to download the latest version, which in this case is 0.3.3. And then you're just going to download this on your computer. Then you're going to open the location to extract the files. And extracting this container is as easy as selecting the file and clicking the Extract All button, and then clicking the Extract button. Then remember the path where you unzipped the files. In my case, I already unzipped the tool and I have it right here on the root of the C drive. So now we're going to open command prompt as an administrator. In this case, I'm just going to use the terminal. And then I'm going to open the path where I extracted the files. In here, I'm going to paste this command that actually disables the Copilot feature on Windows 11. But here's the other disclaimer about using this command. When you run this command, it will also disable other features that are part of the update or version 23H2. If you ever want to re-enable, you will need to run the same command, but instead of using the disable option, you're gonna use the enable option. And of course, in both cases, you need to restart the computer 
to restore the settings. And that said, even though you can actually uninstall the Windows Copilot from Windows 11, at least not yet, you have different options to either remove the Copilot from the taskbar or you can disable it completely using different tools like group policy, registry, and divide tool. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.